Hi, I'm Jenny from the Art and Energy Collective, and we'd like to invite you to join us in the Moths to a Flame project. So in your creative pack, you will have found all sorts of other goodies to do with Moths to a Flame. Today, we're going to be making moths out of plastic milk bottles. And these are going to form an installation at the Devon Guild of Craftsmen. And then later on in the year, we're going to take them up to Glasgow for COP26 to send a message of hope to world leaders. In your pack, you'll find a template sheet and a piece of plastic milk bottle. Now, you can also add to that with your own plastic, for your own plastic milk bottles. Um, just make sure you give it a really good rinse out and leave it on the draining board overnight to dry. You'll also find a marker pen and you'll need a pair of scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is to take the plastic and the template, lay the plastic over the top of the template and using the marker pen, trace around the outline of the moth. and then cut around the outline. I quite like working with milk bottle plastic because it bends really nicely. So you can give your moth kind of a bit more 3D flutteriness by folding back the wings. I'm also going to add a bit of detail to the antenna. Just putting a few snips in there. And then when I twist the antenna, it opens up. Do they have a kind of funky, punky look? We'd also like to invite you to decorate your moth. So you can do that using the marker pen in the pack. You can add mothy marks, you can draw onto the wings, or you can write your message of hope for the future. Once you've finished your moths, don't forget to pop them along to the Devon Guild of Craftsmen. Alternatively, put them in the post to us. Now I'm gonna pass over to my colleague, Naomi, who's gonna show you how to make a cyanotype using your milk bottle moths. We're going to use the recycled moths that you've just made to create an artwork using the power of the sun. Moths are attracted to light, and we thought the next piece of work that you might want to make can also use that energy. What you've got in your pack is the cyanotype paper wrapped up in foil. You have your instructions and you have envelopes to send your postcards to a friend. Inside the silver covered package are two postcards that are covered in a sun sensitive emulsion so that we can make our cyanotype. Over here I have a a one that we've made earlier and where there's a shadow or where the sun is blocked by a drawing the emulsion is not fixed and then you wash it off to reveal the white card underneath so you need to collect a whole range of objects that you're going to use for your cyanotype that speak energy to you you've got your moths i've drawn a, a moth on a bit of old baking paper from the kitchen um, I found a plug, I've got uh, a leaf but, and a battery. These sorts of things will make a nice cyanotype. Um, you can also do a drawing or writing on a bit of cellophane. This is just something that wrapped a card. And so I'm going to just write 
something here to be part of this uh, cyanotype. So I'm writing, find another way to light the night. So I'm going to take out the postcards covered in emulsion from the foil packet. I'll just take one at a time, keep the other one out of sight of the sun. I'll turn it over and I will place, I'm going to place the moths, the writing, the drawn moth, the moths that you might have made earlier on the cyanotype paper and I'm going to take that out into the sun outside. I've just brought the cyanotype in from outside. It's changed from a dark bluey colour to a bronze colour so I know that it's cooked and when you take the objects away, you can just see them reflected there. I'm going to be putting it into this tray to wash it off. And then as you wash it in the water for five minutes, the areas that, which were in shadow or Drawn, drawn over, reveal themselves. And it is quite, it is a bit like magic. So after about five minutes, when it's been washed in water, you take it out and hang it up to dry. And then why not send it to a friend and show off your creativity?